Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. I am your host, Alto Director Jester, with the Niskel. Today we are moving on to Gobi's Valley. Oh, I just got all the sand out of my shoes. I, I know. Well, it's time to put more sand back in them. No. Why don't you, why don't you just go barefoot? Well, I, um, that might not be too bad. I mean, I'm, I'm streaking myself. So, oh, excuse me. What? Maybe I should keep the underwear on. Keep sand out of those parts. Charge! Let's go. Through the sandy sands, through the deserty desert. Oh my god, you might have just enough time. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. Man, there's Brentilda again! What's up, Brenda? She's got secrets upon secrets. Grunty's best friend at which, at which school was the awful Fatty Hattie. <gasps> no! When relaxing, she usually reads Warty Girls Weekly magazine. No. Oh. Yeah. And while sipping a glass of her favorite cold worm juice. Oh! <laughs> Don't tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you're still a witch, there, Grunty. Also, your name is Gruntilda. So this is the first level where the bee houses start having actual bees in them. Oh. We have one new move here. Right. And I, I, I do believe that the move he'll teach us is the last move. <gasps> Already? Already. Oh, wow. This is a short game. It, it, it doesn't feel like it, though. Mm -mm. I'd say we're about halfway done, though, to be honest. Dang. All right. Is that a giant worm? Ah! It's a gigantic mummy hand. God, it looks like a giant worm. Please, no worm. Uh, this one's pretty varied. It's got some pretty fun tricks to it. Look, the fact that you can beat it in one video just proves how much bigger and worse Donkey Kong 64's <laughs> was. Oh, no! Well, I, I should mention, this is the last one that we'll beat in one video. Oh, okay. I'm talking in terms of Kazooie and Tooie. Holy crap, okay. So, they... They expanded. They hella expanded. Good. That means there's still time for me to win the bet. <laughs> hey, hey, we'll see, man. Oh, we, al mean, we also get a move here to help us finish up uh, the other place, right? Yes. We'll be taking care of that, too. Sorry, I'm bad with names. Freeze, freeze easy peek. Yeah, that's it. The flight pad here we're going to need. For now, let's go talk to the big head honcho here. Oh my god, so tall. Hi. Peck his eyes out. <laughs> Please, no! Maybe we could find a scarab, have it dig through his arm. <laughs> oh, hi. Five doses all blocked up. Ah. So you just spit eggs into his big stinking nostrils. <sighs> Maybe they're big smelly nostrils because they smell. I don't, I don't know. Your nostrils can be big and smelly. Oh well, who knows? <laughs> wait, wait, they just opened a door. I thought he was gonna like sneeze out of Jiggy. Nope, Jiggy is inside the door. Oh, probably couldn't render all that in the same area. Or they just wanted a brand new arena. Wow. They put four notes in the exact four corners of the room. Awesome. Okay, good. You can kill those things. It's trying to be, you know, somewhat pacifistic. But no, it just came up here, started rummaging around with this big old mummy hand. Nah, man. So it's a good thing that we got blue eggs, because we're going to need a lot of eggs to make our way through this place. We're going to need an egg to make our way up here. There's the orange Jinjo. Oh my gosh. You must feed them to have them have you pass. Yep. Is it, is it timed, by the way? Uh, the... the yes, they are. Timed. Like the carpet moving? Yes. Okay. It will go down eventually. There's the Jiggy. Hey, you. Hey, you. And Egg in your face. Come on. Egg in your face. There you go. 
All right, so there's a lot of vibes I'm getting to other rare games that came after this, and it's kind of making me happy. Like in Bad Fur Day, you had to mess with a big creature's nose. In Grab by the Ghoulies, you have mummy hands. Well, that just tells me they have no original ideas. They just got to keep recycling the same ones. As long as they work. What's next? A big snake's going to come out? We got to climb it to get to the top of a big tall room? <laughs> well, what, a bunch of monkeys are going to... Oh, wait. Oh, man, I just realized, now that, you know, Rare can't work with Nintendo anymore due to legal obligations... Unless if Daddy Microsoft says they can. I don't know! No, no! Oh, God. Microsoft's kind of receptive to letting them play with IPs, because Lord knows they're not going to use it for anything interesting. They play ball more than, say, Sony does. Sony doesn't like to play with anybody. Sony doesn't like to play whatsoever. <laughs> Didn't they get in trouble again just, you know, a couple weeks ago about how, uh, oh, they, they turned off crossplay for Borderlands 3! That makes no fucking sense! Sony, what is wrong with you? Why would you... Why do you keep your ball to yourself? I mean, play with the other kids! They're fine! I mean, Microsoft and Nintendo have promotions, like, up the ass all the time. They are always working with, with companies. Yeah! But Sony's like, I don't know, I gotta, work, gotta focus on the brand. Like, Sony, I'm sorry to say, did somebody over PSN call you a doo-doo head or something like that while you were playing <laughs> Fortnite? Come on, grow a pair, Sony. Jesus. You look at Microsoft players, you know. Do we, do we want these people coming to our servers? I, I bet it's I bet it's like some ridiculous legal thing. that It's like, well, if they, if they do anything bad on our servers, that's on us, but nobody's thinking that. No, nobody's thinking that. Also, who cares? There's, there's gotta be some ridiculous, yet seemingly ah! moon logic valid please. reason. Please. Uh, please. Hey, there as, we go. As to why they are so against this kind of thing. I still like, honestly, my idea of them getting bullied at the schoolyard, at like the video game schoolyard, just makes me giggle. Wait, were we granted immortality or something? Well, immortality in the form of a Jiggy, so there's that. No, well, alright. One more to add to the old pile. It's handy that it's right by a flight pad. So we can grab it. And then back in the air? And then back in the air. Nice. So, who is Gobi? We will see Gobi later. Oh, I honestly didn't didn't expect the answer. Go yes, Go Gobi is real. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Owie. <laughs> oh, ooh. It had to get in there. Whatever the cost. Is this insensitive? This, this, this dude up here? Ah! I don't know. Do snake charmers still exist? Yeah, but hear him talk. Are you an actual snake? All right, I should probably pay attention. What's he saying? Okay. At the time, probably not, because didn't Raj sound like that in Diddy Kong Racing? Yeah, something like that. And it's, you know, I don't think it's a hate crime or anything. Well, no, and it's not like he's asking you to come to the Quickie Mart. <laughs> All right, so snakes... Pop the, poop the eggs into that thing. But that's too hard. Uh, <laughs> Fart better. Damn it. Well, this, and it gets faster, of course. <laughs> I'm such a child. <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. Hissed up? Yeah, because he hissed and he takes you up. Uh, that's really clever. <laughs> At least that's what that's what I'm going for. I mean, can you imagine his like snake cousin who helps out, you know, to get you decongested? You know, histamine. <laughs> something, something hysterectomy. <laughs> Or maybe we get to, like, the snake version of Karen, and every time she goes to a grocery store, she goes into hysterics. Yeah, hysterics. Hey, new move. 
Uh, move master! It's hey, getting all the moves! All right. Keep making the joke about how you hear the da -da 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 -da, and then you think you're gonna go fast. Well, now you're gonna hear that and you're gonna go fast. A joke I made landed? Yeah. Oh my god. It's only taken one, two, nine years! You stuck the landing yes! on a joke! You are finally a funny man! All it took was Banjo Kazooie! Oh man, I have low self esteem. Anyway. If you have low self-esteem, could you say that you have the lowest self-esteem? Because if you had the lowest self-esteem, you wouldn't think that you would be the one who has the lowest of self-esteem, right? Hmm. Like, nah, there's probably someone who has lower self-esteem than me. I'm not that special. <laughs> I'm unimportant enough to not have lower self-esteem. <laughs> it's like it's like a self-esteem paradox. <laughs> You have low self-esteem? Yeah, but it's not as low as yours. Excuse me? <laughs> I wish I had more self-esteem. I could never be that good. Is this getting too dark? <laughs> I could never tell a dark joke like that. I... My humor is too bright and saccharine for that. <sighs> that just reminded me of something. Back in second grade. Okay, so... I was the type of kid that used words before knowing what they meant <laughs> and seeing if it worked in a sentence. I still kind of do that as an adult, but, you know, I have a much more vast knowledge of words and what their meaning is. And I actually look at a dictionary before I try using them in proper sentences. I tried out the word insignificant and called myself insignificant in front of my second grade teacher. And she thought I was getting, being, like, abused at home. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, no, no, no! And she had to teach me the, the definition of insignificant. I was like, oh, no, no, no. The word is pathetic, Nisko. <laughs> <laughs> Nisko, you young, dumb idiot. No, that's not the word you're looking for. <laughs> what kind of school did you go to? <laughs> it's not here anymore. <laughs> I think we've already talked about our school's going away and fading from existence. So I can see why with terrible teaching like Exactly! That. Actually, she was one of my favorite teachers, honestly. I was also young and naive. Like, I thought when people retired, they died. So... <laughs> yeah. Mom's retiring! Oh, no! Yeah. I... <laughs> In fact, that same second grade teacher... God, I was a dumb second grader. But, uh, yeah, she was, uh, retiring, and I thought she was gonna go home and just die or something like that. <laughs> well, my second grade- my second grade teacher, I- I liked her a lot, because she was nice and fun and all, and all that. Mm -hmm. She actually had surgery? <laughs> and she was gone for half the year. Jesus! We had a substitute teacher from, like, fucking November to, like, March. Wow. Like, like, they had to, like- Basically, cut her in half or something. I don't, oh know, my what, God. I don't know what exactly it was, but it, it was major. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is this getting dark again? <laughs> Whatever. I Let's mean, talk about procedures. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your second grade teacher was better than mine. <laughs> she called me insignificant. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, wait, no. no. Well, at least I she, did. At least she talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> Gopi's desert, you are a depressing place, my bray. My, my desert? I almost called you my bro, but you're not a, a person. <laughs> my favorite joke is, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I partake in self-defecating humor. <laughs> is that not what that means? I, what? Wait, no. No, you're thinking of self-deprecating. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. No, no, what was I saying? Well, what, go change first, and then we'll talk. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> that was a shit joke. Boo! Honestly, I had probably one of the... Alright. So I don't consider myself, you know, kind of the gross humor kind of guy. But there was a setup and payoff. I just had to, like, I had to hit that softball. Mm -hmm. There was no way I was going to let it pass up. Do you do it because it's cathartic? Just it, yes. Mm. He's like, gotta hit it. And that was like, that was like 
the me leaving joke. Like, I did that and then I immediately left because there was no way it was going to get any better. That's called a closer, my dude. Yes. Yeah, so I was like, thank you and good night. It's a mic drop. And the topic was, for some reason, we got on the topic at work of eating ass. <laughs> Don't ask questions, just run with it for now. As you do. And we were talking about, you know, would somebody go around bragging that they had eaten your ass? <laughs> so I said, again, don't ask. Just run with it. Because what do you do over there? <laughs> we get really bored really quick. But I said, now I think they'd be a real shit talker. Drop Mike and leave. And in hindsight, it wasn't even that funny. Whose butthole did you have to tongue to get that <laughs> to work? Participate in weird butt stuff. Get jiggy. There is a good question. I mean... <laughs> like... Is it, though? How, like, to, to, to be proud that you ate somebody's ass. It's like, hey, Chuck. Hey, tongued your butthole last night, buddy. <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> His farts have been in my mouth. What's up? What's up? This, see this guy? Yeah, this guy knows right here. Yeah, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey, next time, could you supply me with a knife and fork? Because, man, your ass is a full course meal. Hell yeah. I can actually see a bro high five due to eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> It's like in the shower room instead of, you know, smacking ass, just like, let me get down there. Go get him, tiger! Uh. <laughs> I hate it! Get it out of this conversation, quick! Gotta eat that ass, bro! Yeah! <laughs> eat that ass! It's like instead of going to the monster truck rally, we're just gonna go eat ass. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh no, what have we done? <laughs> Why did it come here? We don't have- we've never had a designated eating ass episode. <laughs> so no well, here it is! <laughs> Anjo, no. Well, let's get demonetized, who knows? Oh yeah, I don't know. Oh god, I don't know. Hey, as long as we didn't say things like this in the first, like, what, 20 seconds? We're good now. I think that's how the algorithm works. <laughs> All right, time's cleared. Man, I gotta get a lot off my chest when it comes to eating ass, but let me tell you what. Oh, come on! Oh, that's bullshit! Oh, that is garbage. It's like closing your ass cheeks. I can't <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst example of eating ass. Like, that is the worst ass I've ever seen get eaten. Yeah, it, it didn't eat ass. It sucked dick. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Pee pee doo doo caca. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy her brand of humor. God, I hope everything goes well with this episode and we don't lose it. God so, about, damn. so about pee pee doo doo caca, <laughs> the thing that you need to really understand is. See, I knew you were gonna go with like the professorial version. <laughs> You know, according to to uh, his thesis on <laughs> Pee Doo 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 Kaka, uh, Dr. Lavorian of uh, of Oxford University once said that. <laughs> Please open your test textbooks to page eat ass. Make sure you cite your sources. <laughs> we get an MLA citation of eating ass. So, how was your final paper? Uh, strange, to say the least. Did you work on it uh, a lot? Oh yeah, buttload. <laughs> so, uh, I should mention about this one mumbo token. Yes, mention the mumbo token. There is a mumbo token, I don't I don't know if it's here or not, but... Uh, uh, you know how games work, if you collect something, that triggers a switch. So that way, that is like, removed from the game. So you get jiggy, switch turns on, removes the jiggy. Oh, I know what you're about to say. There are, there's a, are two mumbo tokens that are accidentally tied to the same value. Which means that if you collect one of them, you can't get the other. Interesting. And I think it was around here, the other one's in the, the next level. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but basically you, you get this one mumbo token, the other one disappears. 
Very interesting. So is it the one right up there? Yeah, I think it's that one, so we can't even get that anyway, so. Okay. I thought you were talking about the one that was just outside the door. No. Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder if that's an oversight or if that's on purpose. It's, it's most definitely an oversight. Okay. 100% an oversight. I'm surprised they let it go in this HDified version, because they still had to, like, program new things for this game. Maybe they left it in just for just for that, or maybe they didn't even catch it then. No, nostalgia sake. Or, yeah, they probably didn't even know it existed. Nobody said anything. Or they fixed it and it just crashed the game. <laughs> and they put it back and it was fine. It's like, well! Well, alright. Never touching that again. Yeah. See, I know the internet can't keep a secret, so it's not like everybody in the world said, Hey, let's be quiet about this one thing in Banjo-Kazooie. Everybody shut up. Trust me. It's gonna make speedrunning interesting. That's actually an interesting topic. Have you watched any Banjo-Kazooie speedruns yet? Uh, Get any I have. tips? I have, yes. Are, are they actually worth it? <laughs> Most of them are just running around with Talon Trot all the time. Oh, well. A couple of RNG things, or a couple of things. N nothing too majorly, you know, ridiculous. However, uh, I saw one where he literally went through the ship at Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh. Like, literally through it. Must have caught a couple polygons that weren't pushed together all the way. Got. But, you know, just, you know, it's not like the DK64 tasks. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's like, hey, what walls? The game. This one's like, I don't think we need to worry about this wall here. And you just, like, clip through a couple things in there. Yeah. Like, uh, the wit switch here. Mm -hmm. It unlocks one of the coffins in the room leading up to this. If you jump at just the right angle and at just the right velocity, you can clip inside and grab the jiggy that's in there. Oh, neat. Then how do you get out? You just save and you're, quit? You're just still outside the coffin when it happens. So, oh. so enough of your hitbox gets jammed inside the coffin to hit the jiggy that's and trigger cool. you getting it. That's cool. But we're not going to do that because we're not a bunch of filthy cheaters. That's for later. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, new pyramid. Oh. oh, you didn't get a jiggy for that. The jiggy's inside. Oh, well, okay. See, they're, be they're being inside. stingier with the jiggies now. It's like, oh, good job, but you got to get in and get it now. But I'm so coddled. Please give me the jiggy when <laughs> I do literally anything. <laughs> Please, I have low self-esteem and I eat ass. I need this. <laughs> oh no, not King Sandy Butt! King Sandy Butt. No! We're gonna eat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just spitting sand all over So we got place. a minute to go through this maze, and this maze is also where the witch switch is. You just get kicked out when the timer reaches zero? Uh, there are spikes up there. You will die. Oh. Here's a witch switch. Oh, good. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's nice and high. You could use your hitbox to get that. That's cool. Just in the right way, in the right fashion. Oh yeah, I've also seen people uh, in the like the big room outside Freezy's and Peak. They uh, they they start flying. They clip through a corner in a specific way, and they go underneath the level. That's awesome. See, I love watching Tasses for that specific reason, just to see them, like, fly through the game. That's the last ginger, by the way. Excellent. <laughs> no more jiggies. <laughs> and there's... So which one are we missing? There's nine. Let's see, there's nine. All right, so uh, the last one is at the beginning. Oh, isn't that the the tree? Yes, the tree. Oh. The tree is thirsty. I completely forgot about the tree, I'll be honest. Also, we're missing, what, eight notes? Eight notes, and I think we're over there. Still, and we got that extra honeycomb to get, oh, so yeah, we'll, yeah. Uh, we'll focus on getting that right now. Yeah, I just realized this level flew by as soon as I brought up the topic of eating ass. So that's that's just... Yeah! Time flies when you're eating ass! <laughs> <laughs> Go fast, eat ass! 
Get them cheeks in my cheeks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I should also mention that the camel here is Gobi. Oh! Rare loves their camels, I've noticed. Actually, fuck this camel. He's a greedy little bastard. So here, give the tree some water! Oops. Oh, 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 man. Give, give the, the tree, tree some water! water. Okay, that camel just walked on water. So yeah, go. He's like a Jesus camel. Joe camel? I don't know. Easy camel? Oh, Joe camel, yeah, I remember him. J camel? Yeah! I thought he was cool as a kid, Joe camel, but not because he smoked. Because he, like, had glasses, and he was like, hey. It's like, oh, he's cool. Well, so was Chester Cheetah. And Chester Cheetah only does Cheeto dust. Yeah, yeah, I got I got a bigger Cheeto problem than a smoking problem, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> didn't say anything about Chester Cheetah back then. It's like, it's dangerous, that cheese. It's like, I want to be dangerous, I want to be dangerous! <laughs> I forgot that was the slogan, dangerously cheesy. I love the David Feast uh, Cheetos ads growing up. They're done in the style of cow and chicken. Yes! Those were... The oh, like, that's oh amazing! God. Alright, last up is the last few notes and the two extra honeycombs. I only saw the one. Where's the last one hiding? Well, we'll, get, we'll get there. We get Look, I'm there. trying to go fast and eat ass. I need this quickly. Right through. Oh, now. God! This one's got some dingleberries right now. <laughs> Ever had those spiny buttholes? <laughs> be careful when you eat those. None. <laughs> no, I've never considered that. You're gonna get a deboning knife. <laughs> Ex ah! Excuse me, madam, I need to debone your ass before I go to town. <laughs> well, I need to rebone your ass! Ugh! Yeah, bro! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, man. I am so sorry if this gets demonetized, I will pay you back, I swear. I'm gonna say a slur if this gets demonetized. <laughs> That's the calling episode. It's like, now you get demonetized! <laughs> just banjo because or sorry, uh, Donkey Kong 64 opens up next week and it's just a big old <laughs> Fuck <laughs> Beep! Oh my god. So Gobi's gone from the game forever now. Well thanks to you. You, you heard him. You heard his fee-fees. But we got an extra honeycomb, yeah! That's awesome. Okay. And now five notes. We've already got them. What? We got all we got all the notes. We, 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 what? We got everything. What? We got everything. Where'd you? Wait. They were right there. Oh, those were the last five. Yeah. Oh. They're, they were right there, dude. Oh. They're just right there. Oh, shit. This is what happens when I don't pay attention. You're eating too much ass, dude. It. Yeah. <laughs> face first and ass. Look some waste for once. <clears throat> Open your eyes. <laughs> Stop eating ass. <laughs> Impossible, dude. This has been a Impossible. PSA against eating ass. <laughs> it makes your conversations go in strange places. <laughs> Dangerously assy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, so uh, I had a problem with my milk. Yeah? I had a dairy error. <laughs> you, you know what's probably going to end up being really funny when you look at your analytics a week from now. This is the best one. This is going to be the best episode you have in the series. Well, damn, eating ass is the way to get a million views on YouTube. <laughs> oh my god, if there is suddenly 10,000 views on this video alone in I'm like a blame week, you. go ahead and blame me. I'll, I'll be like, hell yeah, there he goes. Alright, so we got to open this up. Got a couple things to Wait, do. Wait, why do eggs do that? They just do, okay? Okay, whatever. And then there's this guy. You crack an egg over a spider web, see what the fuck happens, huh? I think the spider would be really annoyed. Maybe he'd be like, I already had breakfast thing. Oh, okay. Alright. Now that we have the super fast shoes, we can do the super fast race. Right, yes. We're doing super fast race. Can we get the, uh,. Jiggy out here. 
Yes. That's what we're gonna do. Next. Yup. Tying up loose ends. Thank you for playing Donkey Kong 64 for so long. Tying up loose ends is something I love doing now. <laughs> I now have a fetish for it. Tie up those loose ends, you Donkey Kong ass. Dang. Easy there, killer. This is really tight. You got 12 seconds, and I've already oh. lost it. It's it's over. I should what? turn back now. Jesus. Four, three, two, one. And nope. Oh, it shatters. It shatters. Jeebus. Okay. This is where people uh, clip into uh, the corner over there by the, by the ramp. I see. And they go onto the level, so you don't have to worry about putting no, putting jiggies in there. I think there's probably a way to get up in the top, too, to get that jiggy. Is there a way to kill the snowman, or is he just there for a reason? Yep, gotta fly! Right, that's the only way to kill the snowman. As far as I know. Alright, so wait for him. All right. To... There we go. He go. just threw it. There's the switch. Start running, go! Do -do 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 -do! Right, now I think we're just gonna make it. Nope, that must be No, well, around. well. No, no. I don't no, know no, about no, that. No, no, hurry! Jump! Jump! I think that makes you go just a little bit. Kazooie, go fast, eat ass! No! I did worse! Terrible. Fuck. Oh. Terrible, deplorable. <sighs> Disgusting. You ain't making it in time, you pillock! <laughs> you feathered buddy! And you've brung! Useless like a pile of dung! <laughs> Oh, Gruntilda. Disgusting, vile, and crass. Let's see who'll be laughing when I'm eating that ass. She does have a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps winning the biggest butt award. <laughs> You've all noticed my dump truck ass. <laughs> Get it! Yes! Yes! I can't lose it. Alright, don't lose it. What are we going for? Oh, it's for the Jiggy! Yep. That's disgusting! Why would there's, you do that? There, there's a there's a tunnel up above to help you with this. You don't have to come all the way down here very dangerously. Okay. God, you had me scared there. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. You can also get the Mumbo yeah. token while you're here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God! You I almost fell. just about fell. I was about to scream. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> All right. Can get that mumbo toke. Awesome. And now we get that last jig. All right. Wrapping up two levels in one video, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling That's double good. duty. All right, yeah. Sure. Do you have to do the first race again? No, you do not. That's amazing. I'm trying to recall wasn't there a rare game again a collectathon but after you leave a level everything resets and you have to do it all again is that this one well i'm not talking like just the notes i'm talking like you know you got to do race one in order to do race two. Oh, i i, I don't know hmm. I, I didn't mean to refuse i'm sorry talk to me again thank you talk to me What's going on? See, I'm pressing B to skip through it and then you know, B to check it out. But, oh, oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, oh, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Same challenge as last time, but you just got, you just are on foot now. All right, go fast, eat ass. Damn it, You no. missed it! How did you, uh, how are you missing it? No, oh, fuck, it went. It was right there! <laughs> Six seconds. <laughs> Limber up, dude! Okay, alright. Here we go. Okay, alright. For real this time. Go fast. Eat ass. You have a, you have a modern controller. <laughs> you can do this now. You still do it. Oh, that was so great. I'm glad you left that in, by the way. <laughs> this is amazing. I can't tell you how many times I've done something stupid like that in almost every game I play. I'm a very unique gamer. Let's say that. Still don't push him. Oh yeah, he's he's rocking it now. How were kids able to do this back in the day? This would drive me insane. They were better back then. Explains how you could beat uh, DK64 100% as a kid, but you can't beat 
So I just got like worse as the years went by. Yeah, because gaming got gamers got easier. That's it, it true. I also think, honestly, having the handicap of the hardware being what it was kind of helps you to like you know get gritty and good at now, these old games. Now everything's fucking real, which I kind of hate. I, I'm I'm good with some make believe in this Baron Bird game. Oh, congrats, by the way. You did. Yeah, that's, that's ten jiggy, so uh, that is two for two taken care of. Bam! Double the ass. So now what? Well, uh, see how much time we have here. Uh, that, all right, we're done then. All right, straight into the cold water. Straight into the cold water to freeze to death! <laughs> yeah. so, oh, you actually are dying. Yep, we're gonna die here, so... Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we were in the desert for so long, I just need to cool oh, off Oh, yeah, it just cool off a bit, so... See you next time. <laughs>